I'd like to talk about Para. It's going to be a little bit of a different version of the video. The video that I personally believe should be watched by every DoorDash and Grubhub driver. And I'm understanding they'll be adding on Uber Eats and other apps within the next couple of years and maybe months. So, to download and uh, to find an app, you would actually go onto your Play Store and you would type in Para space app and search so pretty much something like this uh, so the logo will be so this would be the app and that's how the logo looks so you guys you would actually download it to your phone and then you would open it so you can do that right now now um as a first time user you will need to set up an account you will also uh, will need to click on doordash and grubhub and give them access to your uh, doordash account as well as grubhub account uh that is the only way they can obtain information uh, and provide you the information the information looks like this like here in the gray box area right there so um it gives you the name of the restaurant gives you if they can pull it not always all the information is there what is the total order what is possible tip is how much you might be able to get paid um time the order might take so various different information and um, they might give you a list of items that's on the order and what is the total order amount so quite valuable information and uh, those of you that know, I have created a hidden tip uh, cheat sheet. And when I seen this, I'm like, wow, you know, I am doing so much of work every time that tip come, uh, the offer comes in. I have to switch to another sheet, look at the mileage, try to figure out. And all of this is already done in Para. Again, keep in mind that tip is a predictor. That's what they believe estimated amount possibly can be. Does that mean it all? they're always accurate? Not always, but uh, they're taking an average based on the restaurant, based on the customer and what they ordered. And they're looking, okay, this customer based on this type of an order estimated this amount, uh, uh, on average gave this type of, this amount in tip. And so that's what they're showing you. Hey, end of the day, it all depends on the person. You know, they might be in a mood and uh, tip you great. They might be in, in a bad mood and not tip you at all. Para cannot know what mood they are and Para cannot know what they're thinking. But uh, Para does know uh, what they can do is give you an, an idea of possibilities. Um, if you are taking orders blindfoldly, you definitely need to have Para. Para is free as my uh, right now, as my understanding, they're planning to continue offering the service for free so definitely look into it so let me actually show you guys some of the history so uh this is the history from doordash uh as i was taking orders yesterday and you guys can see um you can go in and let's say example uh we're gonna take this um for $25 order, we had zero tip on it. We can hit view in app. Oops, sorry. Wrong, down arrow right there. And let's say that of a delivery you took and for whatever reason, you were unsatisfied with it. You can come in on the end of your shift or during the shift, uh, hit flag uh, order and then flag whatever the reason was. Did you didn't like the restaurant? um you want to flag the building because it was not convenient flag individual let's say we're going to flag individual so individual did not tip individual was rude or individual did not answer the uh, door or you can put in you know something else yourself so this kind of messages will show up every time you get a message uh, get an order from this customer so i'm going to hit the uh, did not tip and flag an offer so now we know every time we get uh, an offer coming in it will also include that uh, this is not a tipper so um i will be doing uh, videos on other apps but 
I want very because this is the foundation of what I, of the next two videos that I will be talking about. So you want to make sure you have an uh, power. You want to make sure you kind of get used to it. The downside is it shows the only downside so far that I can say about this app that it this area right here shows up in your notifications. So it'll pop up and it will disappear. So if you want to go ahead and find it, you will have to go back and look for it uh, and see what the offer is if you have any questions. But in the next video, I'll show how to see all of that information on the screen using another app. Yes, that second app is paid uh, app, but it is worth it. So, guys, I am kind of covering a little how to use this app. You can, you know, there's other futures. I don't usually really care about other futures, but I do care about the information of ParaSense because I believe on Saturday I took a $20 tip order and I had to wait on that order. But the only reason I waited on that order because Para told me it's going to be a $20 tip and that tip is almost guaranteed. It had higher chance than just a possible uh, probability. It had a higher chance of that. So I waited, I waited on the order. I picked up the order. I delivered it and it was worth it. It was the order was 23 bucks or so let us see if we can find that order in the history i have not really studied the paro side are they showing this the offer amount or they're showing this the um Yeah, it looks like they're showing here the offer amount. Not uh, but there's the ten dollar offer right there. And there was a twenty dollar offer. I just need to find it. One thing I kind of noticed on the ten and twenty dollar offers, if they show you, it it is usually there. I have, I think I, right there, the $20 offer. Paid, where did it go? Just was right there, disappeared. But you guys seen it, then just kind of disappeared, so... Yeah, so um, very nice. Those of you that you uh, you know sitting and trying to you know get those twenty dollars, especially for those of you, this can be a fantastic app. I personally believe I like to keep stay busy, so you know go go go. So for me, this app lets me know is the order worth taking by showing me possible uh, extra pay that the uh, DoorDash is not showing me. Because, you know, I, I'd rather, you know, take three uh, $7 orders within an hour and make 21 bucks than try to sit for an hour, hour and a half and look for that $20 tip. That's the way I see it. Yes, I burn more gas, but at the same time, I get busy and uh, I don't get annoyed because nothing's coming in that's worth taking. So... That's my goal. Uh, that's the, my opinion. I uh, personally believe every single one of you should have a par. If you guys have any issues uh, or any problems or something else, definitely comment in the um, comment section. And let's see uh, if I can answer those questions. Be blessed. And remember, the next video will be building on top of this. Without this... Certain futures will not work in the next video. Uh, so, go ahead, download it, drive with it, play with it, kind of get yourself familiarized, and I will be back with the next video.